right, Marty Quinn from the Hyatt Regency in Newport joining us again this morning. Great weekend to go down to Newport, it's Mine. Beautiful, and, uh, beautiful. Check out the restaurant down there. So this morning we have, uh, let me see, i got to go to my notes here, grilled diver scallops with lemon basil vinaigrette and cabana slaw. Yes, and that's one of our offerings at Pineapples Grill on the Bay. Pineapples Grill on the Bay, name of the restaurant, right? Yes, that's our outdoor bar and grill. Nice. And okay. we just did a lot of renovations to it, so it looks absolutely beautiful. If you've been there in the past, it's well worth coming back again. If you haven't been there, please come. Please come check it out. <laughs> All right, I'm sure it's going to be a great spot this weekend. All right, let's talk about some of these ingredients. Well, first, before I talk about the ingredients, oh. one of the drinks that we offer are a gala sangria. Okay. So this is for you, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Um, what we did is we steeped the apples. Um, there's red and green apples and some strawberries in some um, apple vodka, and then we added some white um, cranberry juice into it and yeah. some white wine into there also. Wow. All right. Cheers. So uh, I'll enjoy this while you tell me about what's going to be cooking Okay. Here. Well, we are doing a diver's sea scallop, mm -hmm. which the diver's scallops, the difference is that they are not dredged, that people actually dive in and wow. pick okay. them up. So they're less sandy and um, they do less harm to the environment. Okay. Um, in the scallops, we're going to do a little bit of pink peppercorns, which is one of my favorite, and a little bit of dill. Uh, we have a lemon uh, tarragon vinaigrette that we're going to put on top, and then we're doing a cabana slaw. Nice. All right. And that's also offered at our pineapples on the bay. Thoughts of summer running through my head right now. Marty, thanks so much. <laughs> uh, we'll check with you in a bit. As always, the recipe is uh, on our website, foxprovidence.com. Cheers. Back to you. First of all, I just want to say today, Marty Quinn uh, alerted us to the fact that it is National Hamburger Day. Who knew? You knew. Only me, it seems. So aside from uh, diver scallops, you're also serving up burgers in the kitchen. Uh, that's awesome. And, you know, even though it's National Burger Day, it's actually the year of the Quinn. Is it not? You knew that. I do. As a matter of fact, a little bird told us the first time that you were good enough to come in and cook with us. I'm shocked. Uh, you told us, uh, he told us a little bit about the fact that you have made this the year of the Quinn. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about what that means? Oh, wow, you really put me on the spot here. <laughs> um, wow, you really put me on the spot. The year Take of the Quinn is that um, I was told by one of my friends, John Allen, that this is the year that everything will fall into place for me. I've had a couple years that have been a little rough for me, but um, this is the year of the Quinn, and that's all I'm going to say about okay, that. Okay, and so you feel like, uh, he feels like in all of your friends... I feel a little embarrassed. Well, that's you know what, what I feeling. think, I, I'm, I, we, we wanted to mention it, not to embarrass you, but to get excited about it, because um, so many times when people are confronted with obstacles, it, it serves as something that uh, they stumble over, and I think it's so exciting that uh, you have, um, you know, decided to make this time in your life a time that is going to be a fresh start and a new start for you, and so we have, uh, as you see at the bottom of the screen... <laughs> Your face with the year of the Quinn. It's hard to embarrass me. <laughs> uh, my friends know they say, well, well I'm hard to um, get to not be able to say something. Well, I tell you what we're going to do is we'll get you back in your element okay. because in just a moment we're going to get back here and we're going to start cooking up some diver sea scallops. And you can get the recipe and ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. Over to you guys. Did you just hear us say dessert? Yeah. Dessert. Oh, you got it all in here, man. You he got does. scallops. You got burgers. cocktails, pineapples, burgers. And dessert. That I'm you're excited make? about that part. I'm not making it. You no, guys are going to make oh, it. Oh, we're going to make it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. You want dessert, I'll do dinner? I was thinking about that, yeah. <laughs> That's why. That's, I, I, I have <laughs> that to, any surprise? No. <laughs> okay. I have to admit, I gave her the option before you. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Dessert. Well, what That's are we going to totally do with the fun. scallops? Because I see some interesting ingredients over Okay, here. we have the diver scallops there, and I have, I'm sorry, right over here, because I chopped them up already. This is the dill and the pink peppercorns, if you'd want to put a few on there. Okay. And I have, here's a little bit of oil. Now, do the pink peppercorns taste any different than the regular ones, or is it just a, a color variation? No, they taste much milder. You and say when, Marty. I that, got a heavy that's hand. That's plenty, 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 okay. plenty, plenty. <laughs> Stop! Now put some of this on? Yes, and then mix them up. And what is this? That's Olive just oil? a little bit of canola oil. Oh, canola oil, okay. Tell me when. That, that should be good. Okay. And then mix them up. You can use you can use this to mix, mix it. Mix them up? What do you mean? Yep. Just, just like flip so, them over? Yeah, flip them around to get it on all sides. Oh, okay. I'm going to drop one of these on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this was a risky move, having me do the scallops, Marty. Oh, I boy. don't think so at all. I think you're doing wonderful. Right. Look, there. that's good, Patrick. His first time with the tongs, I He's think. He says, one. hurry up so I can get to that strawberry shortcake <laughs> That's or right. whatever it is. All right. So cool. uh, you can bring them oh, over and yeah. put them on top of here. Yeah. And you want to grill them off to get a nice grill mark on them. Ooh, listen to that sizzle. 
Does that say summer or what when you hear the sound of a grill like that? Ah, well, pineapple says a lot of summer then, because that's what we do out there is we grill all of our food, and it's either cold food or grilled food. And you do it outside? Yes. Yeah. How, about this? How about this move, Marty? I'm trying to I scoop like up all the remaining like stuff that move. to finish up. <laughs> so how long do you huh? cook on this side? Um, they will take approximately a minute, a minute and a half. Okay. Oh, you want to do it until you get a nice grill yeah. mark on it. No, it's quite ready to walk yeah. away. Oh, I'll leave that for 30 Marty. minutes. No. <laughs> now, if you'd like to work on the dessert sure, at I'm the gonna, same time. Sure, I'm going to come over here. So I, have, I, have a sample, I have a sample dessert in the back. Okay. But I have, this is agave blueberry nectar. This smells really good. And you can put a little bit of that down. I have two dessert sauces. Now, do I flip this out? Yes. Okay, so this is the pineapple down, downside, downside up cake. Yep. Not to be confused with the upside down cake. Oh, look how neat. And there's the pineapple right mm -hmm. in there. Now, that, that is excellent. Well, it looks heavenly. What are we going to do next? Agave with the Do blueberry? a little bit of agave on the outside. Okay, now agave is something that you can find in just about any supermarket now. It's um, kind of like These a, days it's becoming a lot more popular. I don't know about the blueberry, but but uh, I like that it, that it has that. It's almost like a pancake syrup. Oh, it's, neat. It's, it's really good? Yeah. What else? Uh, we have two dessert sauces there, a raspberry sauce and a mango sauce. I'm trying to look behind me and cheat. Yep, you can do that. All right. Marty, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. When do I flip these? Uh, this is uh, nervous. Nervous. It's always fine. Use my own flair. Um, let's see. Let's turn one over and see what we got. Now the mango. I'm trying to do this like a professional okay, chef might. that's good. Grill marks. Do them all? That's what you, yes, sir. And that's what you're looking for when that's you do good. it is you want to get the nice grill marks on it. Okay. Um, doesn't take too much for them to cook. And we put the blueberries here and there. It looks wonderful. Does it look like a, like a looks, real chef would it do it like this? It looks wonderful. Okay, that's what I want. I want the presentation <laughs> factor since I didn't actually wow, make it. Elizabeth, I'm impressed. Right? I'm and as we were talking about before, because we were talking about pineapples and the meaning behind the pineapple. Yeah, tell me about that. Pineapple is a hospitality symbol in Newport. Mm -hmm. And this goes back to the 1600s when the captains used to go out to sea. When they would go out and return, they would put a pineapple on the porch to let everybody know that they were home. And, and a lot of it would times be, it'd be an yeah. exotic fruit from far away. Correct. They would, says, hey, because they over. usually went to the West Indies. Mm -hmm. So that's what they would bring home oh, with them. And cool. it's funny because you see pineapples all over the place, of course, on Federal Hill. Right, but a lot right. of times people don't realize that it, it's the symbol of friendship and welcome and hospitality. And that's why I brought two pineapples in today. Right. Oh, that's that, very good that of you. That is a symbol of hospitality, You know what too. I think is the biggest single symbol of hospitality? The fork right next to the pineapple <laughs> downside uptake. Since you guys are growing that, I'm going to take a little sample of this. You want to take these out of here, Mark? Sure. All right. I'll keep an eye on the, the ones that I'm trying to cook over here. Oh, my gosh. That is really good. That is so sweet and delicious, but in a really fresh way. Oh, my God. You can't have any of them. <laughs> Sorry, gonna say, you look like you're in one of those modes where usually she's like, oh, gosh, you're going to you try some. And this, no, no, that's okay. I want you to okay, enjoy Okay, good. No, I was trying to stab you with this. Oh, I'll give you away. Yeah. To fend me off with your this fork. This is really delicious, and it's so moist. And here's a look at uh, our is, scallops this here. This is the wine vinaigrette that goes on top of the scallops after they've been grilled. And this is the cabana slaw that's inside. Oh, the recipe okay. is on TV, on the website. You can yeah, find the recipe right. for the cabana slaw. Marty, thanks so much, and it'll be a busy weekend for you folks down in Newport. I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful weekend to get out there and enjoy it. Uh, and, and if I can mention one more thing, sure. in the bar... There is a man named Jay Martin. He is the man that runs pineapples. He's known as Jay Bird around Newport. Okay. Um, he is the one that ensures that we have hospitality at when you go to pineapples. So stop in and say hi. Thanks so, so much. So please stop in and say Marty hi. Wayne.